one of the questions that often comes up with my work is, uh, you know, where does this imagery come from, this, uh, this strange imagery, the general surrealism of the work? And, uh, and I often explain it by saying that one of the things I deal with is this notion of dream logic. I'll often take experiences from my real life and then apply that sort of dream logic where something can appear one way and symbolize something else. And that is generally the case in my work. Uh, this painting, Marsh Potatoes, in particular, a solution to how I was going to solve the painting actually came to me in a dream. In the dream, there was this kid from my childhood who uh, had a specific sort of Southern Illinois accent. And he would say things like, Warsh and uh, say George Washington and we used to make fun of him for it but in this dream I'm just randomly in the middle of Wisconsin in a potato field and here's this kid from my youth dressed as a farmer in the potato field but the potato plants don't look like plants they're like these uh, marvelous like suckers coming out of there on these big candy you know ropey candy suckers growing out of the ground and I and I say to this kid his name was Dennis Dennis what kind of plants are these? And he says, well, they're potatoes, of course. And I said, what sort of potatoes are these? He said, well, they're marsh, they're marsh potatoes, of course. And I'm laughing in my dream thinking he must mean mashed potatoes, but he's saying marsh potatoes. Then I pull this plant out of the ground because it looks like this wonderful candy sucker. Of course, it tastes exactly like a dirty potato. And that's when I woke up.